Fitness is doing some strength with flexibility through yoga inspired movement. So we're going to do a little bit of a yoga series here today. I've got my mat out and no shoes. Start with feet out wide. Turn the foot on this side straight. Turn the foot on this side angled directly towards the wall. So you've got one foot here and one foot here trying to make a 90 degree angle. Go ahead and take your hips and open them up forward and get both legs straight. Tuck your tailbone underneath you, protect your lower back. Core is strong, but the breathing is in and out through the nose, very deep and low. Take the shoulders and roll them around back and down. Feet even wider if you can, and all we're gonna do is have our arms out, and we're gonna bring the knee, bend the knee, Kind of hard to see that front knee, but it is not extending past my foot. Just bending strong through the thigh and back up while keeping my torso nice and tall. Not that, okay? Keeping it nice and tall. And now we're going to hold it in the bent knee position. This is called Warrior Two. Open up through the hips, strong through the thigh. Take a couple of breaths here. And then sweep the arm around, bring yourself facing the wall. Feet are still oriented the same way. Open the hips now towards the front. We're going to go into warrior three. This is optional. You can just go straight here. Or we're going to go all the way into warrior three if you're ready. Find something to gaze at. Bring yourself to a straight leg in the front and a straight leg behind you. Energy out through your feet and through your hands. Both legs nice, straight, and strong. Gazing at something that does not move for balance. Now move your gaze to the floor and bring your hands down to the floor. And then bring that leg that is off of the floor, bring it up and angle your hips forward, not opened out to the side. Let your head come down towards that leg. Push the top leg up without opening the hips. Bend the front knee down and up. Trying to get both legs as straight as you can as you come up. Let's hold it up straight, stretching both legs. Then working our way out of it and back in to warrior two pose. Good energy through the fingertips. Then straighten out both legs and switch your feet. So this foot is now forward and this foot is going to angle towards this wall, creating a 90 degree angle. Check out your heels. They should be in a line with each other. Now arms are out and we're going to bring the knee to a bent and to a straight. Shoulders are down back and behind you. Not extending the knee past the foot, but strong through the thigh. And now holding it into that warrior two position. Pull your torso up very, very tall. Tailbone tucked behind you. Toes are separated. Open up through the hips. One more breath like this. And then 
sweep the arm around and turn the torso and hips forward into warrior one. We're slowly going to work our way into warrior three or just a straight leg forward position. So again, here's your straight leg forward position, extending through your spine and the backs of your legs. Or we're going to bring it all the way up into a warrior three, extending through both legs, nice, long and strong, extending through the fingertips. Moving that gaze downward, hands down to the floor. Let's back up a little bit. Bringing that back leg up, and then both legs straight and push that leg way up without opening your hips to the side. Open them forward. Ease yourself into straight. And now bending the knees. Look down. We'll hold it. Long and strong and straight, as straight as you can. And then slowly working our way out of it into warrior two. Open the hips up forward. And then straighten out both legs. Turn both feet forward for me, arms out and flatten them out. Push energy out through the top of your head and both fingers. And then allow the spine to round, hands down. Roll it up nice and easy. And hopefully that gave you a little bit of strength and flexibility to finish out your workout today.